Hey, I'm Bryce, uh, and this is the story of me and my friend Mario. Uh, he was a good friend of mine, and so because of that, uh, I had a deep desire to see him grow in a relationship with Jesus Christ, and I really wanted to bring him to Beach Church. So Bryce, his wife, Allie, um, was friends with my brother through work. They were work proximity associates, and they used to go to events all the time. And Dave, my brother Dave, would invite me out, and I always kind of felt like an outsider. And I started to go to all these events, and I noticed that this one guy stuck out. He had a big beard, like talking about Star Wars and comic books. And I'm like, man, I'm going to get to know this guy because I am also a nerd. And so I approached Bryce kind of privately away from the group yeah and I was like hey man you're not attached to these people except for your wife except for my wife <laughs> um we should get together and do things away from this group that we're not technically in right and um it really started we went to we like eat, we did eat around Jacksonville yeah we just went to different restaurants it was really like chain restaurants really though yeah it was just well not always chains well we went to like Taco Bell <laughs> Freddy's that's all we need to do yeah so yeah, so, you know, we started going on lunch dates, started hanging out more. Um, I love that you call them dates, by the way. They were. Okay. Uh, so we started hanging out more, um, started playing sports together. We started playing soccer and football, uh, and we started working out together because I'm in terrible shape and Mario's in great shape, so he was like, hey, I'm going to help you get in better shape. You're, you've come a long way. Thanks. It didn't really pan out. Um, <laughs> uh, Still, so it's a work in progress. It was one of those things where... Uh, we were going to the gym, and so I had to tell him, like, hey, um, probably won't be able to meet you on Tuesday nights most nights because that's when I have my church life group. And so Mario was like, oh, that's fine. Is it okay if I come? And I was like, yeah, sure. I think you said, wow, <laughs> aggressive much? Boundaries. Well, I think just one thing about inviting people to church or to life group is it makes you, like, care a lot more about what we do at church <laughs> in a very different way. Just because in my mind, I'm like, please let nothing weird or strange happen this week. Like my Mar Mario mentioned that he's like, everybody seemed normal. And that was the goal. That was the, the roof way. did shake. But yeah, the roof that does was, shake. I thought there was it, rain It here. will never stop shaking. Yeah. Um, Santa's but, here. That's what I thought. But you want everybody to act normal and be normal. And so like, it makes you invested in the church in, in such a way of like, so often like we go to meetings and we talk about what the church should look like. And it's about like what we want it to look like. But in that moment, all I cared about was what does that look like to my friend who's sitting next to me? Uh, and so a funny thing that's happened is uh, Mario, being a relative outsider of the beach, has pointed out a lot of the things that we do that are traditions uh, that seem a little bit strange to an outsider sometimes. Yeah. And so it's been fun to kind of talk through that and, and to challenge me on like, why do we do those things? Yeah. So this experience for me coming to beach and being part of this, this church community has really opened my eyes to like wanting to invite more people, uh, not only to church, but just to get to know Christ and have a relationship with God. Um, it's not something that I ever envisioned myself ever wanting or being able to do, but now that I've become so acclimated, I feel like you know, watching Bryce lead Life Group and how he's kind of led me to beach, I feel like I have the ability to do that one day. Um, it's funny, you kind of get a new sense of confidence, like people have come up to Bryce and I and say, you guys are the best friends I've ever seen. No one is closer than you guys and no one even touches it. And you know, it's their words, not mine. Um, but I really feel like <laughs> I can foster that relationship with someone where you can get them comfortable enough to say, hey, you know, these are cool regular guys that have this awesome relationship with God. And uh, I, I wanna give that a try as well. And, and it's impacted my life in such an awesome way. And to be able to share that with someone else one day is something that I, I really hope to be able to accomplish be courageous enough to make the ask and to say, hey, would you like to come to church with me? And offer to buy them lunch afterwards, because that works. I think you made me pay for you, though. I did. No, yeah. you didn't pay for me. <laughs> you paid for yourself. No, I'm pretty sure you said, hey, man, you can come to church, but you got to pay. And I thought that was weird. <laughs> but you promised me a lifetime of happiness, so.